Hi, this is Leif Olson with Draper Incorporated. I am with Gym Equipment Technical Support, and today we are going to discuss how to set limit switches on a mid-roll divider curtain. Caution, never set limit switches or operate any other electrical controls with the winch connected to building power. Be sure the device is not energized via the key switch or other control prior to adjusting. Always use extreme caution when operating any nearby devices to avoid getting caught in cable and or belts that may be moving or wrapping when the device is in operation. This product is shipped to you with the limit switches set. To set the limit switches, they need to be in the out position, much like they are now. If you want to set the limit switch, excuse me, if you want to disable the limit switch, you push it in. Okay, that sets the limit switch. So I'm using a cheater box, which is basically a, an electrical plug-in that allows you to move it without having building power. Um, one thing I will notice or mention is that notice all of the connections. It's green to green, red to red, black to black, white to white. Um, the black and red, that's your direction wires. White is common, green is ground. And why I mention this, notice that if you have a dual motor mid-roll, one of them has to spin opposite. We switch the wiring inside the synchronizer box. So at the actual um, motor connection that the installer makes, it's always going to be black to black, red to red. Do not flip these. Okay, next thing you need to do, you need to ensure that the belt is in the correct location. And the finished floor is, is the tabletop in this case. Um, the belt should be in the 12 o'clock position. It goes above all of these bolts passes through the wheel and then it would go up to the ceiling okay so you always want this in the 12 o'clock position up needs to spin counterclockwise in this case okay so using the cheater box which you will have to disable the limit switches Remember right now we have them set being out. So I'm gonna take them both off. Now it'll move, okay? You need to figure out which one, because keep in mind you can, you can flip these upside down. Um, the only thing you would do is move this. So as this arm's sitting now, it's off to the right. If you need it off to the left, you can just flip this, spin this, and um, now all of a sudden you have changed the limit switch. So this may be up in this orientation. It may be down if you have it uh, flipped the opposite way. So now what I'm gonna do so I'm going to figure out which one of these limit switches. So I just set the yellow one. Okay, so now it will not spin in the counterclockwise direction. Okay. So that is going to be the down limit switch. So I'm going to get it back to the 12 o'clock position and then I'm going to set it. Okay. So now it will not allow you to spin it clockwise. So now I'm going counterclockwise, go back clockwise. The limit switch just stopped it. Okay. Now this limit switch, you would not set it until you wind the divider up and get it into the stored location. Once you get it to that point, you would just 
set this limit switch so you would pull it out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in and let's say we want one revolution. Let's say that is the up setting. Now I'm gonna pop that limit switch out. Notice it stopped again at the 12 o'clock position. And that gives us approximately one revolution. I would also like to mention that inside the, the electrical box on this motor assembly, you will find a, a grip connector. Uh, so you would knock out one of these holes um, You want the cord going up So in this case you would knock out one of these three holes if you have it upside down You would knock out one of these That'll be the uh, the connection from your electrical to the, to this point to the cable reel um, It includes the female terminal ends that would be hooked on that wire. And it also includes the buckle used to fasten this strap up at the structure elevation. If you have any questions about what I talked about in this video, uh, please call your local dealer and or draper representative. Thank you.